a great video for you today on how to have fun outdoors. This is bass fishing in March in Orlando, Florida. So next time you're in Orlando uh, and you're going to Disney and Universal and having some fun at the amusement parks, try to take a day and hit a bass charter. Some of the best bass fishing in the world in Orlando, Florida. We hooked up with Captain Savior on a charter and uh, had a lot of fun on the Conway Lakes. Sit back and enjoy. Please subscribe, give us a like, help out the channel, and enjoy some bass fishing from Orlando in the spring. <laughs> All right, you ready to do this? Let's do this. Yes. Let's All right, do tell it. us a little bit about your boat and your charter and uh, what you got cooking here. All righty, uh, this is Close Encounters Fishing Charter. My name is Captain Xavier. This is a 168 Ranger Phantom, it's about 17 foot. Got a 70 horse Yamaha, pushes the boat about 35 miles per hour. Sweet. Go out and see if we can catch some bass. All right, we're gonna find Walter. We're gonna get the hog. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's do it. Just wanna hop on, just watch it. All right, what lake are we on here? This is Lake Conway. Lake Conway? It's a series of about four or five lakes. Okay. Um, about two decent sized ones and a couple of little smaller ones. We fish the two main lakes, Little Lake Conway and Big Lake Conway. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll go into the smaller lakes sometimes, but uh, the majority of the action happens on the bigger lakes. Okay, all right. So yesterday we were at Butler, today we're over on Conway. You ready, Leachie? Yes, I am. You ready to catch the big female hog? <laughs> yes, uh, yesterday it didn't appear, but I'm <laughs> sure that today <laughs> I'm Xavier. Is all right, all right, let's, all right, let's see what happens. Go ahead and take <laughs> off. You ready to rock and roll? Yeah, let's yeah. rock and roll. Right, let's, let's do, do it. it. You got to see a snapping turtle. So those are pretty rare, huh? You yeah, don't get to rare. see you don't get to see that many? I honestly hardly ever see them. I've seen maybe half a dozen in my life. Wow. Okay. That was pretty looked like an alligator turtle. Yeah, those guys will take your fingers it's clean off. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that, folks. <laughs> All right, so how long have you had this charter? Uh, about eight years. Eight years? Wow. What's the biggest bass? We've got some up to 14 pounds. Up to 14 pounds? Wow. All right, Aliche, you gotta go 15 today. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I'm all in. I'm how did you pick the name of your charter? Um, my mom actually came up with it. Um, I was taking her out on the boat one day and we were seeing a bunch of manatees and dolphins stuff like that and yeah we realize you know it's not just always about fishing it's nice seeing the wildlife yeah yeah uh, so a lot of times people often say they had a great time fishing but they see an alligator or something like that get up close experience with it that kind of makes the trip a lot of times yeah if you see an alligator let me know definitely they take, hey. <laughs> they take most of them out Do a they? lot of people swim and ski in these lakes but you'll see one every once in a while particularly in this kind of area right here where it's always all these weeds and lily pads and logs. Yeah. Sometimes you see a little, little one. Did you see any yesterday on Butler? No, nah, no, nah, we didn't see any yesterday. Yeah, these these developed lakes, you don't see a lot of them. That's awesome. So out on these Conway Lake, this chain here, what kind of fish do you got? It's mostly largemouth bass. Okay. These guys go after speck and crappie. Yeah. Uh, 
but the main draw for most anglers is largemouth bass. Right. Now, do you have any pickerel in here too? Or? Yeah, yeah, we catch quite a few pickerel. We okay. kind of don't really like catching those all the time because they cut our lines and they have sharp teeth. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> they steal a lot of my lures. Yeah, there you go. Most guys are after the largemouth. All right. Yeah, look at that. Nice one. Nice one, Alicia. Pull them up, Des. Let's take a look at what you got. Nice bass. Ready to fight, good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was yours. Well done. <laughs> you got him right next to the boat. Is that the one I threw back? You're a cheater. I knew it. You're a cheater. <laughs> Switch up the baits a little bit. What we got here, Captain? These are Zoom flukes. Zoom They're, flukes. Uh, a salty, soft plastic. Yeah. And uh, pretty weedless. Okay. A little weight on there, kind of sink it down toward the weeds, maybe even into the weeds a little bit. All right. Kind of where I'm seeing these bass hanging out, and uh, see if we can get some some bites. All right. Sounds good. Showing off, Felice. Wow, I'm learning. <laughs> All right, Alice. Oh, ho, ho. you're in the game. Look at her go. All righty. Nice. Oh, there you go. You got some size on that. There you go. Nice. Oh, ho, ho. Look at that. You inhaled that plug. You hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Thank you very much. 
Look that up would be one of the nicer out. ones too. Yeah. That one pretty good. Wow, look at that. He wanted that guy. Hey, right. uh -huh. how'd he fight? It fight good. Yeah? Yeah, you can feel the weight. Yeah? You can feel heavy. the weight on there? Yeah, it was heavy. So you're uh, getting to be quite the caster too, getting it out there now, huh? Oh, I'm the caster. How do you say that? Pistachio. We say pistachio. What yeah, do you that's say? That's American. That's an American? What yeah. do you guys say? Pistachio. Pistachio? Yeah, pistachio, pistachi. Okay. So pistachi because they are a lot. Pistachi. Pistachi. So you would actually call that a handful of pistachi. Manchata di pistachi. All right, there's your Italian word for the day. Now we know how to say that. And uh, how, do you, how do you say the captain's name in his native language there? Xavier. What is it? Xavier. Xavier? Oh, okay. I think she's setting us up to say pistachio. Right? I know it. Mm -hmm. I think so, to too. Really silly. How do you like this depth finder you got? I like it a lot. Um, today's a really good example. You know, the fish are not showing themselves up on the surface. Yeah. Found them because of this guy. We're able right. to find a contour line, to find a weed edge that these fish are hanging off, and we're basically just hitting that edge. And pretty much every time that's where we're getting our fish. So this guy's definitely helping us out a lot today. Perfect. Hey, you're supposed to be fishing. You're doing the lizard program. Oh, you know I'm a lizard. Hey, hey. gotta get that pole back in your hand. This ain't, uh, we're not out here to lay out. Why not? <laughs> All right, what did you like better today fishing with? The flukes or the rapala? Uh, the rapala. The rapala. Yes. Okay, very good. So how do you like your Yamaha? It's been pretty good to me. Has it? Um, yeah, it's uh, it's really light for its class. Yeah. You know, I, I run a flats boat because I, uh, I do both. I like to fish the fresh water and the salt water. Yeah. That motor right there, it's uh, it's like a hundred pounds lighter than a lot of its competitors. Wow. Which is why I chose it because getting real shallow is you know pretty important for me when I'm chasing redfish. Yeah. Sea trout, snook, tarpon, stuff like that. It's not as big of a deal on the lake. Sometimes I wish I had a bigger motor on the lake to go fast. But uh, when you get in the shallow water, having a hundred pounds off the transom is is a big deal. Yeah, it's uh, pretty sweet. Now, what kind of boat is this? This is a Ranger Phantom. Ranger Phantom. Yeah, Pretty happy with that? Yeah, yeah, it's been great. This, I've actually kept this boat the longest out of all the ones I've had. Wow, awesome. It's, uh, it's definitely withstood the test of time. Ranger makes a good boat. All right, you're getting to be quite the caster there. Huh?
came out here to fish, not do yoga. the biggest bass that you lost today? Well, yeah, I lost it, but it was big, big, big. <laughs> All right. Maybe next time we'll find Walter here on How to Have Fun Outdoors. Keep trying. <laughs>